In this lesson, I'd like to talk to you about how we can determine what a linear equation is when we're given an xy table. I have two different examples. The first example in red here is an xy table where x increases by 1 every time, 2 to 3 to 4 to 5. So I'm going to go ahead and indicate that it's going up by 1 in every step. That would be the recursive formula. And I'm also interested in how y is changing every time. And in this case, y happens to be changing by going down by 5 every time. Now to calculate slope, we've talked about that. The change in y goes on top and the change in x goes on the bottom. So my change in y is a minus 5. I'm going to put that on top, which becomes negative 5. The plus 1 is my change in x, so I'll place that over here. And 1 goes into 5 5 times. Negative and a positive produce a negative. So my slope is going to be negative 5. As for my y-intercept, we've seen this before. If I simply find a, oh, well, if I had a zero in the x column, whatever was across from it would be my y-intercept. I don't seem to have that here, but I do have a pattern. 5, 4, 3, 2. I don't see anything stopping me from simply continuing the pattern on my own, 1 and 0, and then continue the pattern over here. Negative 10, negative 5, 0, 5. I could fill in a 10 to go with the 1, and then a 15 to go with the zero. And though it's written small, I think we can make out that 15 would be my y-intercept. So not really a big deal for me to work backwards and figure that out. Now my equation. I'll take my slope with an x plus my 15. And there's my y-intercept and my equation. If we look at a second example, very similar to the first, in this case I have an increase on my x's of plus 2 every time. Now by the way, notice how it's always increasing or in the previous example decreasing by the same amount. That's the nature of what we're doing in pre-algebra. We're working with what are called linear equations and all of these equations will graph as perfectly straight lines, nice consistent changes. When you move on to al into Algebra 1 and potentially into Algebra 2, you'll start to see things that change not by the same amount every time, but by differing amounts, and those oftentimes will curve uh, when you graph them. That's not what we're doing here, so let's get back to it. If I calculate my slope, same technique, I'm going to put my negative 3 or my y value on top. My x value of plus 2 goes on the bottom, and this is pretty simplified. I'm simply going to write it negative 3 halves. Now, to find out my y-intercept, I have the same kind of idea here. I still don't have my zero, but again, I'll just follow my pattern. 8, 6, 4, 2, counting back by 2 every time it takes me right to zero. That's kind of nice. So I'll do the same thing over here. 17, 14, 11, 8, take 3 more off. Oh, I realize I made a mistake here. These are going up by 3, which means I'm going down by 3 on the way back. Zero links up with 5 and I have a y-intercept of 5. Again, my equation then is going to be negative 3 halves. There's my x, and I'm going to add on my y-intercept for my linear equation. Now, to try to prove this point one more time, I'm going to go ahead and switch gears slightly. I'm going to take the table that we just worked with, our second example. We've already calculated our slope and our y-intercept. What I'd like to simply show you is that the transfer from the table to the graph should uh, agree. If I graph the points that were given to me, 2, 8 is right here, 4, 11 is right here, 6, 14, and 8, 17. And what you'd notice is if I graph these things, and if I can graph them as carefully as possible here, what you'll notice is that my slope is supposed to be 3 halves from any point to any other point, I have to go up one, two, three, and over two. So my slope of three halves is maintained, and I observe that my y-intercept is supposed to be a plus five. That's that point right there. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. That means that this line, this equation, and this table, they are all the same pattern. So what you've seen here is graphing equations from xy tables is not that hard. You follow some simple patterns, and if you need to, you could always graph and find that same information.